Do my shoulders provoke you? Does my chest? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times celebs clapped back against body shaming. I am sick and tired of being yeah. sick and tired of having people tell women what they can show, what they cannot show, what they can wear, what they cannot wear, what they can do and not do with their body. Stop it! They For this list, we're looking at times celebrities shut down haters who pass judgment on their appearances. If you think there's another body positive celeb who deserves to be celebrated, give them props in the comments. Number 10, Lady Gaga. In 2017, the Born This Way singer gifted us with an unforgettable Super Bowl halftime performance. What, what, what did you say? Oh, you're breaking up on me. Sorry, I cannot hear you. I'm kind of busy. Unfortunately, it was overshadowed by critics who chose to focus on the singer's exposed midriff instead. Lady Gaga has been open in the past about her body image struggles and how sick they made her. But on this occasion, she used the opportunity to share a message of body positivity. In response to the whirlwind of judgments, Gaga told her fans that she's perfectly happy in her skin and urged them to feel the same about their own bodies. She capped it off by reminding her followers to be themselves unapologetically, or in other words. Number nine, Jennifer Aniston. Sort of, you know, we kind of write, don't necessarily send it, or um, at least since I was a kid, I did that. And, uh, I, yeah, I kind of hit a wall. The Friends star has been under tabloid scrutiny for as long as we can remember. In 2016, after the umpteenth pregnancy rumor, Jen decided it was time to fight back. Picture of me with a b bump and a circle around my stomach with an arrow pointing to it, in just this sort of disgustingly objectifying kind of way. And I was just fed up with it. She penned an essay for Huffington Post about how she and other women are presented in the media and the harmful impact of this false representation on impressionable young people. Similarly, Britney Spears, who's also spent decades in the limelight, uses her platform to call out those who profit from taking invasive and unwanted photos. As Aniston pointed out, her essay wouldn't stop the relentless paparazzi. Still, it would give readers a new lens through which to view these unwarranted images. So we have to stop listening to them and we have to stop buying them because we have to support each other, especially at this time, to love each other, to support, and to be proud of women and of whatever your choice is in life. Number eight, Beyonce. B famously uses her real life experiences to inspire her music, going back to her days in Destiny's Child. She divulged that the barrage of criticism she and her bandmates endured often left her feeling insecure. She also revealed that the group struggled to find designers to dress, quote, four black country curvy girls. In response to all the negativity, she composed the catchy body positive anthem, Bootylicious. Sadly, she would continue to face scrutiny over her fluctuating weight. But with years of experience and wisdom behind her, she found a new way of dealing with the haters. In an interview with Elle in 2019, she shared that, quote, giving zero Fs is the most liberating place to be. Number seven, BB Rexa. In 2019, the meant to be singer joined the growing group of celebrities to call out the fashion industry for body shaming. You might recall that model Ashley Graham disclosed that she had to skip the 2016 Met Gala because she, quote, couldn't get a designer to dress her. And I really think that if more young girls looked in the mirror and were happy with who they were, then we would have a different society. Rexa, who had just received her first Grammy nominations, was reportedly turned down by several designers for being, quote, too big. She took to Instagram to share her disappointment and to blast the industry for upholding unrealistic beauty standards. And if a size 6'8 is too big, then I don't know what to tell you. Then I don't want to wear your f***ing dresses because that's crazy because all you're saying that all the women in the world that are size 8 and up are not beautiful and they cannot wear your dresses. She later said that at first she was hesitant to speak out, but ultimately chose to because it's the only way to inspire much needed change. Don't know who you are, just love me.
Number 6. Florence Pugh The actress opted for a tulle Barbie core dress while attending Valentino's Haute Couture show in Rome. Unfortunately for some self-appointed body critics, this look was a little too daring, and they saw the sheer fabric as an invitation to comment on Pew's breasts. It is ridiculous, and I think that if you have a problem with that, you really need to look at yourself. Yeah. You well, need to ask yourself, why, why does this so trigger me so much when it's absolutely normal, it's just a body? The Midsommar actress responded in a lengthy Instagram post, saying that while she wasn't surprised by the commentary, she was concerned by the audacity of those, primarily men, behind it. She talked about learning to love her body and refused to apologize for not meeting predetermined standards and expectations. I've lived in my body for a long time. I'm fully aware of my breast size, and I am not scared of it. It was the perfect way to fire back and call out the real societal problem. Grow up. Respect people. Respect bodies. Respect all women. Respect humans. Life will get a whole lot easier. I promise. Other celebs flooded her comments with messages of solidarity. Number 5. Grant Gustin while there is certainly a gendered double standard in the public eye, even men can't evade criticism and scrutiny. Your muscles should be atrophied, but instead they're in a chronic and unexplained state of cellular regeneration. For instance, in 2018, a photo of the Flash actor was leaked, with many commenting on his, quote, too skinny physique. Gustin wasn't here for the body shaming and took to Instagram to denounce those voicing negativity over his appearance. Just try and withhold judgment. Whoever leaked that. The actor said that he had no idea the photo was even being taken, let alone shared. He divulged that he had been subjected to body shaming for much of his life, but does what he can to stay in shape. He also reminded people that bodies change and that various outside influences, including stress, affect his eating habits. I'm sorry, Barry. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. Number four, Billie Eilish. Though you've never seen my body, you still just judge me for it. Earlier in her career, Eilish was known for sporting a baggier style which she claimed was to stop people from passing judgment on her body. In 2020, the bad guy singer opened her concert responding to the media and public's unprecedented obsession with her body and look. While I feel your stares, your disapproval, or your sigh of relief, if I lived by them, I'd never be able to move. She highlighted the hypocrisy of those who use her appearance to shame and judge her and others. Later, in 2021, she posed for the cover of Vogue with a completely transformative look that was met with a fair deal of backlash. Her response? Quote, Dress how you want, act how you want, talk how you want, be how you want. Is my value based only on your perception? Or is your opinion of me not my responsibility? Number 3. Selena Gomez Growing up in the public eye, the former Disney Channel star is sadly no stranger to public scrutiny. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was the first time I'd ever been called fat. Unbelievable. Uh, but it was weird because it's not just, oh, she's fat. It's like, she's a mess. She's, you know, she's got off the deep end. In her 20s, the singer suffered health struggles and saw her weight fluctuate, which, of course, did not go unnoticed by the media or wider society. In 2022, she decided to shut down the haters on TikTok. In her video, she laughed at how people will always have something to say no matter what size she is. And she has just one response for them. You're too small. You're too big. That doesn't fit. Me, 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 me. I am perfect the way I am. Gomez continues to live her best life and strives to live in the present, away from criticism of strangers on the internet. She's not here for any of that body negativity. I don't have to be that 19-year-old body shape anymore because I'm not. Number 2. Adele When the singer made her comeback in 2021, her slimmer build made headlines. However, Adele wants us to know that much of what we've heard about her weight loss is nonsense. The Someone Like You singer admitted that she's well accustomed to her body being carefully examined by those who have no business doing so. My body has been objectified my entire career. Mm. I'm either too big, I'm either too small, like, you know, I'm either hot or I'm either not, like, whatever. But she also blasted the people who were now trying to piggyback off her weight loss by claiming they'd somehow played a part in it. She explained that she had simply become more active to cope with her anxiety. So you weren't even starting out trying to lose weight? No, not at all. I wasn't bothered about that at all. But 
in that process of having, you know, lost all of that weight, I definitely really contributed towards me getting my mind right. In 2021, she told British Vogue, You don't need to be overweight to be body positive. You can be any shape or size. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Mindy Kaling revealed that the office writers once joked about using her weight as a punchline. You can't express anger and hurt in a room like that. But I think what a lot of writers do, and in fact I do, is take the truth put in a new situation and then have yourself react in the way that you wish you had. Keep going. Are you sure? Wait me, you son of a bitch. Rebel Wilson. She talked about the way the media treated her differently before and after her weight loss. I know what it's like to be a woman who is essentially invisible to most people because of um, not being seen as traditionally like beautiful or whatever. It's crazy to try to fit that. It's just better to be the healthiest version. Vin Diesel. The actor doesn't care about always being super fit. Camila Cabello. Cabello is done with the body shamers. Serena Williams. The tennis champion says that she sees her body as a weapon. People are entitled to have their opinions, but what matters most is how I feel about me, because that's what's going to permeate the room I'm sitting in. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Lizzo Lizzo's always open and honest about being a celebrity in a bigger body in a world that doesn't celebrate body diversity nearly enough. been criticized for her outfit choices and accused of selling out to diet culture. But she's always on hand with a well-crafted response, whether that's reminding the shamers that bodies aren't meant to all look the same, or sharing candid photos celebrating her curves. When someone started a cruel rumor about a stage diving incident, Lizzo had the best way of clapping back. Like, I know I'm big, but bitch, I'm not that f***ing big. Like, look. The Good As Hell singer often uses her platform to challenge mainstream body standards and advocate that beauty comes in all shapes and sizes. It's about damn time the world took note. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.